Hey guys, it's me. Um, so I just got out of the shower, so please forgive my lack of wanting to button my shirt. <laughs> but this is my therapy recap for the past week or two or things in front of my window that it is blowing really hot air. Welcome to Oklahoma, where the weather will go from like 60 degrees back up to 90 degrees, and we're all just supposed to be okay about it. We're all just supposed to be okay about it. But, <clears throat> I digress. Uh, I could talk long and hard about um, the difficulties of living in this state, but I'm going to choose not to because, hey, I'm here. Oh, <clears throat> so, I forgot that I had scheduled my therapy appointment for 9 a.m. this morning. I really wanted to sleep in. I haven't been getting much sleep lately because I've been working my butt off. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I was able to wake up and fine. Rocky slept with me all night. All spoiled butt. Can't sleep anywhere except underneath the covers and right between my legs. So, which is fine by me. He can sleep wherever he wants. Um, <clears throat> just sometimes it's really difficult. But he doesn't mind me, you know, 280 pound man like rolling over on top of him with, you know, so I guess I can be cool with that. We, uh, we talked about this morning about, uh, my mother getting out of the hospital. Uh, she'd been in the hospital for a little while. Um, just cause she got COVID and then other things sort of like started stacking up. Well, now she's out. Uh, and it does not make my life easy at all again. Without her here, I was able to come home from work, be in a nice, chill, silent space, calm down easily, just take care of the dogs. Both dogs were good together, they didn't fight, they played a lot, and you know, everything else. And then the moment that she came back in, it was like all that flared anxiety and <clears throat> I don't know, huge sound, like I guess you could say, just everywhere. The increased noise was up. The uh The dogs were back to fighting again because her little dog is a mean little crackhead. Hopefully I can say that. But it's a terrible dog. Terrible, terrible dog. Overly vicious little dog that seems to think he's like 50 pounds and he's like maybe 5, 10 at max. But he makes a lot of noise. And then she likes the habit of just talking on and on and on and on and on and on, etc. Just about nothing. And and then she starts complaining about things. I made when I'm at work, and I work 12 hours a day, I work really, really hard at a factory, and I would come home, and she would complain that I was, um, uh, the food, I, I needed to cook more for her, and I'm like, I'm not your maid, I'm not your, ho your housekeeper, I'm not a chef, like, if you feel like you need those things, then I am not, um, the one that you should be living with but of course she 
can't help it. So I'm just having to get back into the swing of just having lots of noise, no safe space in my own house. It's going to take, take a while again. Um, we also talked about my daughter. Um, my daughter was like, uh, <clears throat> she thinks that she can give me, get me a better, um, girlfriend than I can. She thinks she has a better idea of what I deserve, you know, so she wanted to take control of my, um, Only one dating app I use right now is uh, the Facebook dating. It's very linear, very small, but you don't have to pay for anything. But I tried to explain to her, like, look, if you're a guy and you're on a dating app, your chances of getting anything there is very, very, very slim. Um, but I allowed her to. I allowed her to get in and start liking people and doing everything else like that. And, um, I got a couple of matches, so I went ahead and, you know, decided to do what, you know, I promised to do. I'd, I'd follow along with what she wanted, you know, check out the people that she, you know, got to match with me. And, uh, started talking to them. I was holding the conversation. Like, while at work, getting, like, three to four answers with this one girl. Um, talked pretty much all day, me asking all these questions and talking about backstories and trying to give as much information as possible without crossing any other, like, I don't know, personal boundaries, you know? Um, but, like, talking about food and things we like and stuff like that. And it was always just, like, no sentence she made was over, like, four words. And then when I decided to go to bed, I was like, hey, if you want to talk some more, just send me a message tomorrow. I don't want to wake you, you know, so on and so forth. She's like, okay. And I could have messaged her when I woke up, but it's like, at what point do I let myself stop chasing these women who can't even reciprocate a common conversation? I'm too old for this. I'm too old to just keep chasing women who just keep running. And then they don't even add value to anything. They just want more and more and more of you, your money. You know, and they don't add anything to you. Because that's what I'm used to, pretty much. And then I got matched with another girl. She was a better conversationalist. I'll add her to that. Um, we had a pretty good conversation. But then I did the same thing. I was like, hey, I got to work in the morning. You know, 12 hours. I wake up at 7. I, I work till 7. I'm pretty much free all day, you know. But I don't want to disturb you. So just shoot me a message in the morning when you, you know, if you want to talk some more. Never heard anything else. I'm like... It doesn't upset me, upset me. But it's just kind of like, you know, just solidifies the fact that I just, I should just be alone and just give up, right? Even though my therapist is like, no, don't give up. You could find true love. And my kids are like, yeah, dad, there's somebody out there for you. Maybe you should try guys. And I'm like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I try to steer clear of all my in intrinsic thoughts, though, from my therapist. Like, I try to hint a lot at them, but I don't try to outright say that I deserve a grippy sock vacation. Because welcome to America, where even if you get one of those, you can't afford to live afterwards. So, 
But he basically said that if the only thing keeping me here is playing video games, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep clinging on to the things that what little bit can keep the time passing so that I don't do anything of, I don't know. He said regret. I don't think it's regretful. But that's just me. But. But yeah. Every day is a new day. Every day we keep trying. Every day I'm still trying to find whatever worth I have. You know? So as long as I keep searching, I'll have to find something, right? Otherwise, I guess I am just, you know, a nurse, a housemaid, and a chef to people who don't want to reciprocate. 